Welcome everybody, I'm Ash Freeman and today we'll be moving through a beautiful vinyasa flow practice together. We have the birds as a soundtrack in the background today. We're in our rainforest studio, so I cannot wait to get moving with you. I'll be using a yoga block, but if you don't have any props, don't worry, stay exactly where you are. And as always, remember that you know your body best, so take rest or modify however and whenever you need. I'm so grateful to have you here with me today for your time and your energy. So as soon as you're ready, take a deep breath and we'll get moving. So we'll begin today in child's pose. Take your knees a little wider than your hips as you start to walk the hands out long. Maybe you take a few extra moments just to rock the hips side to side, have a little stretch, just warm and ease into the body today. And then when you're ready, we'll take the palms together, bring the forehead down and bend through the elbows. So the thumbs touch down at the back of the head or the neck. Maybe you walk your elbows a little further forward as well. So we're getting that beautiful stretch through the shoulders, through the hips, through the chest, the lower back. And let's just take these first few moments of our practice to land, almost like a little catch up with ourselves. Whether you've had a busy day or whether you have one to come, I just invite you to allow yourself to be here. Know that there is nothing more productive, nothing more important than spending this time with yourself today. Take those inhalations a little deeper into the sides of the ribs and all the way down into the base of your belly. Letting go of anything outside of this space. Completely and fully allowing yourself to be. Allow the chest and the hips to feel a little heavier. And the sides of the body to lengthen. Take one more deep and full breath in. And then exhale, release the arms, slowly rolling up. And roll the shoulders up and back a few times as you open the chest. And take your right arm high, little side stretch here. Deep breath into the sides of the waist, the ribs, the chest. And see if you can soften your shoulders down away from your ears. One more breath in, lengthen even more through that right side. Exhale, lift up, take the right arm across the body. Option to find your Garudasana, eagle arms here. But wherever you are, settle those shoulders down. Lengthen the back of the neck, soften the bottom ribs. Breathing into that space behind your heart. One more deep breath in. Exhale, gently release. Straight to the other side, left arm up. Big, beautiful stretch here. Keep it soft, keep it gentle. Find that ease. One more breath in, create space. Exhale, lifting, take left arm across body. Again, option to find the bind. And then neat and tidy up this shape. One more breath in, exhale, release. Take fingertips behind as you start to open through the shoulders and the chest. Maybe you press the hips to the sky, lengthen through that tail. Big full breath into the front of the body and exhale, release. Coming to all fours, give your hips a little wiggle from side to side. Maybe you take a few cat cows in your own time. Maybe you round and press the hips back, moving through the shoulders. Just free movement here for your body. And take one more breath in. Exhale, press that breath out completely. And find all fours, extend the right leg back as you reach the left fingertips to the front, draw shoulders down, pick lower belly up. One more breath in, finding your center, finding your balance. Exhale, stepping right foot to the top outer edge of the mat. Little wiggle of your hips, 
warming up here and then find your center press heart forward draw shoulders back a little flow as you inhale right arm lifts to sky and as you exhale thread that arm back underneath let's keep moving in your own time and remember that my breath cues are just that they're suggestions of how you could move but ultimately i want you to move and breathe in a way that feels comfortable for you today with this next one, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, find strength in your legs and then walk that right foot back a little down the mat. Come onto the knife edge of the left foot and when you're ready, start to drop the hips down, take your gaze to your right hand. Inhale, press and lift the hips high. Stretch through top side. Exhale, lower. Let's flow here a few times. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Last one. Again, you can move in your own time, faster or slower. Whatever feels best in your body. Take one more breath in. Come all the way up and over as you float the right heel back towards the sky. Three-legged dog. Breath in. Press that foot away. Strong through your arms. Exhale. Draw the right knee forward. Tiger curl. Thigh to belly. Inhale. Sweeping it back once more. Exhale, drawing it forward. Medium plank on your inhalation, broaden through the chest, get strong through the body. As you exhale, knees can come down as you lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, lift the heart, lift the palms, and exhale, press back to child's pose. Come straight forward again, a few moments to flow. Take whatever feels good in your body. One more breath in. And then finding your way back to all fours. Extend left leg back, reach right arm forward, find that strength. And as you do, keep that breath moving with ease. One more breath in. And then exhale, step left foot forward and wide. Little bit of a wiggle, little bit of a shimmy out. And let's start to find that movement with the breath. Exhale as you curl under. Inhale as you lift up and open. Curl under, empty the breath. Inhale, expand. Curl it under, tuck the back toes. This time as you inhale, lift that back knee open. Start to walk the left leg back along the mat. Come onto the knife edge of the back foot, lower the hips. Let's go, inhale, lifting high, beautiful big stretch through the top side. Exhale, we lower. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we lower. You look beautiful, keep going, last one. Let's come all the way up and over as we sweep the left leg back and high, three-legged dog. Take a breath in here, ground through the palms. Exhale, draw the knee forward, tiger curl. Inhale, sweeping it back and high. Exhale, drawing that knee through. Step back, plank position. Let's move through a vinyasa flow. Exhale, draw up through the belly and thighs. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or your upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck those toes, downward facing dog. Let's pedal out through the heels a few times. Moving gently into the calves, the hamstrings. Find your center, take a big deep breath in. Open your mouth, sigh that breath away. Let's find some spinal waves. Inhale, rise to the toes, draw the belly up, round the shoulders forward. Exhale, drop the knees, arch the spine, press back. Once more, inhale, come forward. Take your time, make this feel delicious in your body. This time we lift up, start to walk the feet all the way to the top of the mat. We'll meet in a forward fold. Here, just take a few moments again to yourself. Maybe pedal out through the knees. Nod or shake the head, yes or no. Find centre. Inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold and bow forward. Inhale, arms rise up, come to standing. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. We pause a moment here to catch up, to check in, to notice the difference in your mind, your body, your breath. 
Come back to your center, come back to your intention. Just being here is all you need to do. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, half lift, draw belly in, shoulders down. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, rise to the toes, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, back home to your center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, make the movement feel beautiful in your body. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, we pause. Take a deep and full breath in. And a smooth breath out, let's start to flow. Take the right heel up to the sky. As you exhale, draw the knee forward, step it through. Back heel down, when you're ready, arms cartwheel up and we find our warrior two, deep lunge in that front knee. Inhale, reverse, paint the sky, soft fingertips. Exhale, side angle, forearm to thigh or reach those fingertips down. Keep flowing, inhale, we reverse. And exhale, deepen into the lunge. Twice more. Again, in your own time, with your own breath, I invite you to move with that sense of ease. Last one. See if you can find the full depth of your lunge here. Let's reverse and find our triangle pose as we reach the right arm forward, the left fingertips to the sky. Draw shoulders down, roll the bottom ribs under, lower belly in, ground through the soles of the feet. Inhale, reverse. Exhale as you journey forward to your Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Fingertips come down to a block or to the mat as left leg extends back, keeping that thigh to the side. One more deep breath in. Exhale, bending the knees, step it back. Let's inhale, reverse. Exhale, come forward, step back, lower chaturanga, moving through your vinyasa. Knowing that you can always skip out any of these vinyasas and just meet, rest back in child's pose or downward dog. Inhale, other side, left leg comes to the sky. Exhale, step the foot forward, take the back heel down. Taking it up into your warrior two, settle your shoulders, find that softness through the arms. Let's flow, inhale, reverse. Paint the sky. Exhale, side angle pose, opening those hips. And again, a few more times. Seeing if each time you can find a new, deeper, more full expression of the pose. And just enjoying moving your body. Last one. Your deepest lunge yet. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, reach that left arm forward. Keep the front leg straight, triangle pose, trikonasana. Adjust as you need. Exhale. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, journey forward to your half moon pose. Maybe you just take the back foot off a few times or maybe you lift all the way up. Any variations that you wish with your hands, maybe hands to heart, pause, find your drishti. One more breath in, soften supporting leg as you step all the way back with control. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel hands forward, step back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. We're going to build on our flow. Exhale, step the right foot forward, take the back heel down. Come up to your warrior two. Exhale, deep and down into that lunge. Inhale, we reverse. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, traveling straight forward to your half moon. Take one breath in here. Exhale, soften supporting legs. Step the back foot to the mat. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale, Skandasana. As slow as you can. Maybe that's lifted. Maybe it's all the way down. Take a breath in here. Lift your heart to your thumbs. As you exhale, back to the top. Find your twist. Open right arm. Inhale, we flow back and forward. Exhale, maybe those hands stay to heart and you hook left elbow to thigh. Inhale, sweeping it back. You can use your hands here too if you need. Last one, see if you can flow the movement with as much ease as you can. Exhale, finding your twist. Take one more breath in, draw right hip back, lift heart to thumbs. Exhale, left hand comes down. Step the right foot, come back through, side plank, Vashistasana, right foot steps behind. Wild thing, reach right arm forward. Take a deep and full breath in, lift the hips, open the heart. Exhale, take your hips down, your hand behind your head. Inhale, lifting it up. Exhale, lowering it down twice more in your own time. Inhale, beautiful stretch through the front and the side of the body. Exhale, lowering it down. Last one, big breath in. Press those hips to the sky. And exhale, find side plank for a moment. Maybe we lift the right knee up to the sky. And exhale, lower chaturanga. Moving with ease through your transitions. Moving through vinyasa or back in downward facing dog. Exhale, pressing it back straight away again. Let's build on the left side. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, draw the knee in, step the foot through. Back heel down, find your warrior two. Prepare for your movement, find your center. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse, you know where you're going now. So can you have a little bit more fun, make it a little more playful. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, half moon, fingertips down as you start to lift. Stay for one deep and full breath in. And exhale, step it all the way back. Skandasana, right knee bent, hands to heart as you inhale as low as you can. Exhale, travel forward, find your twist. Inhale, maybe you use hands, maybe you don't. Exhale, option to hook that right elbow to the thigh. Move with control. Again, maybe you do this five times, maybe you do it only once. The most important thing is that you're listening to your body and that you're present with your movement, staying in your twist this time. Take a breath in, draw belly to spine, lengthen here. Exhale, take the right hand down. Inhale, step that left foot behind, lift the heart. And exhale, take the hips down to the mat. This time, let's take hand to heart. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lowering it down. Twice more in your own time. And the beauty of repetition is that we unlock a little more with each movement each time. So we have this opportunity to really find a way that our body feels good here. Let's come to side plank with that option to lift the left knee up to the sky. Bashi Sasana, body strong. Take one more breath in. 
Exhale, find your plank. Lower with control, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Final time, let's go. Inhale, one last build on this sequence. Exhale, draw the knee in, step the foot down. Back heel down, find your warrior two. Exhale, lunge your warrior strong, ready to move. Reverse. Side angle. Reverse. Triangle. Reverse. Find softness through those arms. Half moon. Find your balance. Stay for one breath in. Exhale. Step it back. Hands to heart. Skandasana to the back of the mat. Straight into your twist at the top of the mat. Left hand down. Inhale, step right foot behind, lift the heart. Exhale, lower the hips, pause. Inhale, lift to side plank. Step the right foot to the top of the mat. Prepare to move. Inhale, find your high lunge. Exhale, fingertips down, straighten front leg as much as you can, hamstring stretch. Flowing these two movements, high lunge. Exhale with control. Last one. Find that strength in your legs, that softness in your arms at the same time. Find your high lunge. Take your hands to your heart as you prepare to come to your warrior three. Lifting that back leg up, all the hands can come to the thigh for support if you need. Your eyes gaze at one point, your drishti. One more deep and full breath in. Exhale, take the fingertips down to the mat, standing split for a moment. Lift the toes up to the sky. And then step that foot all the way to the back of the mat. Sweep right leg back and high. Bend the knee, open the hip. You can stay here if you'd like to find a little fun balance. We start to walk the left hand wide and back. Maybe you find the point where you can reach your left fingertips up towards your toes. Whew, it's a tricky one, that one, so be careful. Take one more breath in, just having fun, be curious. Exhale, take the right knee forward, pigeon pose. Set up here, lift and open the chest. Exhale, drop the shoulders down, fold forward. You can take your forehead down to a mat. You can take the arms out long, whatever feels best for you. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. And gently lift back up again. Find Navasana boat pose, both legs out in front. Inner thighs draw together, lift the heart, drop the shoulders down. Maybe you lengthen the legs, take a deep and full breath in. Exhale, cross at the shins, plant the palms, step or jump back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, moving my block, <laughs> cover or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Final time, to the left, take the left heel up to the sky. Exhale, step that foot forward, take the back heel down. Prepare warrior two, our final sequence of moving. So let's enjoy this one, arm strong. Reverse, soft through the arms. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, take the full length of the breath. Enjoy every moment, exhale, triangle, shoulders down. Inhale, we reverse. Exhale, finding half moon pose. You stay just for one deep breath in. And exhale, step it all the way back. Hands to heart, skandasana, right knee bent. Exhale, finding your twist, right hand down, lift left arm. Inhale, step left foot behind, 
hips and heart to the sky. Exhale, lower it down. Vashtasana side plank, inhale, lift and open, strong body. Exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat. When you're ready, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, soften over that front leg. Inhale to lift. And exhale, let's find gratitude for our beautiful legs who carry us with strength throughout our days. Exhale to fold. Lift up your high lunge. Exhale, hands to heart, move into your warrior three. You can find support here if you need. Just be in your body, come to your breath. Inhale, let's find a little more lightness here. As you exhale, take the hands down, standing split, lift the toes to the sky. And exhale, step the foot all the way back. Sweep left foot back, bend the knee, open the hip. Stay here or option to have that little bit of fun where we walk right hand back. Find that centre, find that core. Maybe you reach up to those toes. Take one breath in, have some fun just to play. Exhale, come forward pigeon pose. Flex through that front ankle, take a breath in, lift up, well done. Exhale, fold forward. Whew. You can start to let that breath relax. Start to let the hips, the shoulders, the heart go. Again, a moment to check in, to catch up and breathe. The three. Two. One. And gently lift up through the chest. Take the legs out in front of you. Navasana boat pose. Exhale, hands and feet to the mat. Press the hips to the sky. Exhale, lower. Once more, Navasana. Lower the hands and the feet. Inhale, press hips up. Exhale, release. Bend the knees, ground through the heels, take the arms up to the sky. Just a gentle forward fold here, moving through those hamstrings, release. Allow that rounding of the shoulders, allow the head, the neck to hang. Don't worry so much about alignment here. Just find that beautiful fold and release. Start to breathe into the base of the spine, the sacrum, the hips. And what can I let go? Where can I release? One more deep breath in. And a full breath out. Slowly rolling up. Keep your eyes closed if they are straight away coming down onto your back where you'll find any variation of happy baby that you like. Maybe you keep the heels together. Maybe you stretch the legs out one at a time, rock it side to side or stay in stillness. And this movement is yours. Take the feet down, shift the hips slightly to the right, then draw your knees in towards your chest. As you take your arms wide, find a twist, the legs over to the left. Every exhale from now on in releases your body a little further to gravity, a little further to the mat. And coming back through center, and bring the hips a little to the left, knees to chest and then over to the right. Maybe you notice the difference from side to side. Can you keep pressing that top hip ever so slightly away from the chest and the shoulders? 
breathe in and out and in and out and coming back to center feet hip distance apart grounding through the heels now if you have um, wheel pose in your practice and you'd like to move to that by all means feel free otherwise ground through those heels interlace through the palms roll the shoulders under press the hips up to the sky open through the chest take a deep breath in and exhale slowly lowering back down hug your knees in and this is a moment for you to take any other movement here that you might need that will be beneficial for you and your body. Otherwise, when you're ready, one at a time, start to stretch the legs out long. Take the arms by the sides. Give your hips a little wiggle to release. Walk the shoulder blades down the mat back of the neck long. Turn your palms to the sky as you soften the fingertips and the toes. Breath in. Sigh out to release. In a few moments here, once more to catch up, to notice a difference in energy, in breath, in body. to send a note of gratitude to yourself for gifting yourself this time and gratitude to your body for all that it does for you each and every day. Sending our thanks for the miracle it is to have lungs that can breathe, a heart that can beat, a mind that can think and dream and create. And perhaps from this space, you set an intention of how you'd like to move throughout your day as you step off of your mat and into your life. And may you continue to move curiously and with care for yourself. May you continue to come back to your heart and back to your breath. Stay here for as long as you have Take rest for as long as you need. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Namaste.